Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now this will be for the 9th to the 15th of May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Now, I've pre-shuffled the cards. Um, I've already got the Oracle cards out um, to save a bit of time. And I'll do the tarot um, on camera like normal. Okay, so the first deck you have is Mother Healing in Reverse. Have faith in reverse and yes. So this talks to me about you needing to do some sort of mother healing that you've been avoiding doing. Um, maybe you're also not a mum. Maybe you're wanting to have kids but you're not actually, um, not actually there yet. Uh, whether you haven't been able to manifest that yet or... Or maybe you don't see your kids. Maybe you've got some sort of healing to do regarding, um, you know, the mother of your children. It could also be your own mother, like a mother figure. could be in any of that. Different for different people. But there's some sort of healing that needs to happen. Um, once, you, once you do heal them, though, heal this situation, um, you know, work on manifesting what you want and it will, it will help. Um, if, if you're wanting to manifest to obviously be a mum, you know, maybe you need to manifest that and let it go. But, you know, do the healing, um, maybe look into doing some sort of spiritual healing I just heard. You know, maybe there's, you know, something that the doctors don't do, but maybe one of the natural kind of, you know, healers can help with. That's just for someone maybe specific. But it says trust your intuition. Because your intuition is correct. And then take action accordingly. You don't have much faith though. So whether you don't have much faith in, you know, what you are man trying to manifest. So if you are trying to manifest, you know, a healing with your mom or your nan or the mother of your kids. Or whether you're trying to manifest having kids. As I said, it's, you've really got to have this faith. You can't put it out there and then doubt. Because it's not going to get you anywhere. Um, maybe you need to make a plan make some changes it also talks about seeing the future four and one is five so you need to make a change five is about change it can also mean conflict and loss so maybe you've had some losses with the children um, you know as I said maybe you have children already and you don't see them because of you know your issue with the mother of your kids Whatever this is, different for different people, but there is definitely some sort of, it can mean conflict and loss or it can mean change. So maybe you need to have some sort of plan. As I said, if you're, say if you're trying to have kids, maybe, and I said about the, maybe you want to go do some sort of spiritual healing, maybe that's a plan. Maybe try that. You know what I'm saying? Like try and come up with some things that actually can possibly help and put that out there because, I mean, to manifest, you've got to actually take action. You, like, if you want to have kids, you can't just sit there and hope that, okay, I'm going to get pregnant just by sitting here. Like, you need to, you know, especially if you're having problems, maybe you need to go and get some um, help from the doctor. Maybe you need to go and get help in a spiritual way, you know, with more of a spiritual healer. I, I don't know. Whatever feels right for you. As I said, trust your intuition because your intuition is telling you. Um... 414 I don't know that's all about planning fours so maybe look into that 414 angel number um but you've got here freedom in reverse you're just not wanting to release something and as I said for some of you it may have to do with the past for some of you maybe it's more that you know, you don't feel like you're yourself or you're getting to be yourself if you don't have children. And even underneath that, look at the picture 
this came out for Scorpio the other day. So I don't know if you've got Scorpio. This came out last week for Scorpio. Um, so whether Scorpio, whether you've got Leo and Scorpio like in your chart somewhere, I feel like it's the same kind of message. But, you know, this, it's like you possibly want to have kids, but you don't have them. Even under here, you've got believe. As I said, you need to have faith, which is exactly what this card over here said. In reverse, but upright, it says have faith. You need to have faith. And you've also got equal. What's the alchemy card? Oh, yeah, it comes back to having faith. You don't have much faith. Um, yeah, you're just not willing to accept. You're not, like, it talks about acceptance. Finding balance. I just feel like, for me, it's more about you haven't accepted. You have not accepted the fact that you, you know, you haven't had kids. You haven't accepted the fact that, you know, maybe there's some action that you could have been taking or you needed to take and that comes back to the plan. As I said, I feel like it's all related to children. And I feel like this is funny because this came out for Scorpio. And actually, yeah, look in your chart because you may have Leo in your chart. Okay. You've even got release here. Two and seven is nine. To accomplish something, you need to release it. It means put it out there, manifest it, let it go. Stop like, but you've got to, you know, take the action, like I said. But you can't. You need to release that, that want, I guess. Like you can manifest it, but you've got to release let me have a look what it says in the book here, just out of interest. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. Release it. It also says release any old negative habits, you know, anything that isn't serving you now. So, for example, giving up a habit such as smoking. Um... Maybe that's part of making a plan, you know, is there's something that you need to release. And whether it's, you know, diet or whether it's, you know, as I said, alcohol, smoking, something like that. Whether there's something you need to release, but there is. Um, use your discernment, though. I feel like there's something to do with the masculine because you've got masculine here too. Four and two is six, which talks about success. And I don't know whether you, with the one being discernment, 1010 is one. Because 1 plus 0 is 1. So whether you're not wanting to have a beginning or or there's uh, maybe the opportunity hasn't come yet with this masculine, but there might be possibly somebody new. Let's have a look. What's attraction? 44. <laughs> I feel like it's because you're not getting rid of something that you know you need to. Attraction isn't just what we accept, but also how we discern. And you have discernment. Blindly attracting everything we think of into our lives rarely makes us happy. But being focused about it does. And it suggests that we think globally. And funny enough, you have this globe here. <laughs> It's funny how they all intertwine. Um, I 
We want to attract experiences into our life once we're, if we're growing. This can be positive relationships, a, a lifestyle that suits us better, clarity, love, prosperity, creativity, the list goes on. Or equally, we also perhaps wish to be able to repel the experiences we don't want. So maybe at the moment you're kind of attracting more about what you don't want than what you do want. Or you're not able yet to repel what it is you don't want or what isn't for your highest good. You do have free will though, but I feel like there's going to be some new beginning. But it definitely has to do with this masculine. Maybe hold on to the masculine, oh, masculine energies that are not um, for your highest good. Um, I don't feel like you're even in communication with this person right now. Somebody may be sorry but not sorry. They're not even really wanting to apologise. Maybe this, you know, this, maybe you're attracting people even that, you know, do these false apologies or, you know, maybe you're just harboring hurt or resentment from past hurts. But you do have sunshine where it's all about good vibes, happy times, positive attitude, things going well. You've also got glam it up. So, you know, go out on the town, go on you know get all dressed up looking all hot see what you see what you do see what you meet you know make an effort um i also i'm hearing in my head like you know if you go out and about try to look your best like i don't mean go out in like you know bloody suits and whatever but i'm saying i just feel like you know you you want to be able to feel attractive so you want to be able to feel your best and if that means you're dressing up then maybe do that so you can attract, you know, somebody as well. And meanwhile, you're feeling your best. If you were, you know, out in your pyjamas or your trackies or, you know, looking like your hair hasn't been brushed and, you know, feeling like you look like utter crap, you're not going to want to meet someone. You're not going to feel like you're being attractive and, and um, you know, putting yourself out there, are you? Oh, actually, that has to go further down. Okay, Page of Ariel, which is the same as the Page of Pentacles. Oh, you've got Page of Michael as well, Page of Swords. And you've got new beginning in reverse. So page of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Both upright. I mean, what are you manifesting? You know, um, Page of Swords is someone coming in and communicating with you. But Page of, um, page of Pentacles is more about, you know, maybe you need to work on your employment. Do some new study but it can also be about you manifesting and um yeah but i feel like there's definitely some sort of communication coming in but as I said, you're not really wanting a new beginning because it's in reverse. Um, I don't feel like you really have this, you know, forgiving and compassionate review of the past. As I said, I feel like you've had a lot of crap. All right, let's start with what you've got on the table. 
as I said, you can manifest what it is you want. And maybe that's where you're at. You need to manifest the life that you want. It's all about successful beginnings. Look, the magician. This is the same as the... Um, this is... Oh, not the same as... It is the magician. But this is like you turning your visions into reality. You know, you are resourceful. You are powerful. You can manifest what it is you want. So... I feel like you need to do that. You know, stop thinking about this negative past that you've had and focus on the positives that are your the life that you want. Tell me more. Yeah, don't hold back. I feel like you're not very, you know, happy where you are in life. Look. You've even got anxiety, you know, there's fear, there's whatever, depression, nightmares, you think about it all the time. As I said, you probably want kids, but you're not you're not getting that opportunity. Um but yeah, with the two of pentacles, like you really need to prioritize. I feel like this is like the same kind of reading, similar to Scorpio. Like, prioritize what it is you want. You need to release those self-limiting beliefs and negative thoughts and um, feeling like you've got no options or, you know, hanging on to and being stuck in situations with people that are deceitful, sly, cruel, you know, cold-hearted. I feel like people have even tried to convince you in the past. Oh, look, Seven of Swords. But I feel like you are learning that lesson. You definitely are learning that what it is you want and what you're willing to accept. Um, and I feel like you've even let people kind of convince you in the past, you know, like it's either me or, you know, me or the kids. Like, what is it you want? If you want me, 1717, 17, Google that. Um, angel number. Because I feel like um, sevens are all about challenge and obstacles. And I feel like, you know, one of those obstacles could have been, or challenges could have been these people are like, choose me or the ki or you having kids. And then you're like, oh, of course I choose you. And, you know, therefore you miss out again. And, you know, you're... you're you want this, I feel like for a lot of you, you want this happy family, but you want the kids too. You don't want to have, you know, I mean, you could go and have, you know, a sperm donor that you pick out of a book and I want number five, you know. I feel like you could do that for some of you, but I feel like for majority of you, that's not what you're working on manifesting because you've got the masculine To me, I heard divine counterpart. The masculine is generally, you know, your person. And it doesn't have to be male, but I'm feeling like it's just your person. It's like, yeah. Anyway, nine of Gabriel, same as the nine of wands. You need to stay determined to move and move forward. Um, be prepared for any possibility. Um, the nine of wands is about, you know, being resilient and having the courage and the faith and the strength to, and it's like a test of faith. I feel like whatever you're going through, you know, if you're wanting kids, for example, it's like you've got to have the faith because over here your faith wasn't all that great. Um, and I feel like there was somewhere else as well where you kind of had lack of faith. You need to believe. If you're trying to manifest, you need to believe. You know what? I am going to have kids. I know I will. You know, if that's what you're after. You need to believe that you will be successful in, in whatever it is that you hope to, hope to have for your life. Way too many cards before.
yeah, part of your spiritual lesson was like I don't feel like it's someone else. I feel like it's you. Like I feel like you're being yourself like sabotaging yourself. Like it's like you're telling yourself and part of this is spirit your spiritual lesson. I mean, first of all, part of it could be that you've attracted people that just were not for your highest good. You know, they were doing things they shouldn't have been. But for some people, I'm also hearing that, you know, you need to now, like, you know, focus on you. And look after you and stop trying to self-sabotage with all the lack of faith and you know, I feel like that's, yeah, stay determined, which is exactly what that card was about. Um, then you've got the Ace of Gabriel. There's a card that's turned in here. Okay, Ace of Gabriel in reverse. I feel like you have lack of direction. I feel like, you know, this, funny enough, I reckon that card came out... And I was using a different deck too. But I reckon that card came out with Scorpio because I remember them feeling like they missed, like missed the opportunity. And so that's what they're telling themselves, you know, oh, I'm too old, I've missed that, I've missed the chance, I've missed the, you know, the clock ticked. But I feel like if you're a good person and you're doing right by people, I feel like, you know, there might be somebody coming in that's like the King of Pentacles who's going to be able to give you, you know, the security and the they have the same values as you and, you know, I just feel like they, they have money. Um... I feel like you just need to make a plan. Also, maybe you're worried about having a lack of money. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're worried about, you know, how much kids cost and, um, yeah, maybe that's more it. Maybe you're just worried about, you know, part of your self-sabotage is you're putting out there, well, kids cost a lot of money and so I don't know if I can afford that or we can afford that or, you know. Oh, my whole body just goosebumped. So I'm going to say I'm on the right track. Um, but you have limitless potential. You just need to believe that. Keep trying. You know, it's going to take strength. But you've got the Six of Cups. Six is about success and reward. Okay, let's move on. I feel like I want to read this way. I feel like there's something that you don't want to release yourself from, but also you don't want to make the decision. It's like, um, this is like the devil card in reverse. Like, are you having a lot of those kind of dark thoughts but like worrying and you know I feel like you're stressing about something you don't need to stress about and I feel like that's due to as I said with the lack of money and it's like 
all I'm hearing is self-sabotage, self-sabotage, you're self-sabotaging. You're just, you're trying to believe, you're trying to put out there that, you know, that's what you want. But at the same time, you're trying to control the situation and I feel like you just need to relax. I just feel like you need to not because look, you've got the Ace of Cups. That can mean new baby. That can mean, you know, a loving relationship with fulfillment and, you know, intimacy and all those things. I feel like you need to not worry. I feel like you just need to not think about it, not stress about it. Work on manifesting what it is you do want. Um, but you've got the Eight of Cups, which is, I mean, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about, you know, disappointment and feeling unhappy and feeling discontent. Restless. Like, you're really wanting children yet you're not feeling all that happy in yourself either and unfortunately i mean it's part of your believing and you're feeling like it's not going to happen and you're feeling all negative once again you're pushing the the manifestation further away because you've got lack of faith You're not trusting your intuition. Like you're not. And I don't feel like, I mean, you might be with somebody who's emotionally manipulative and violent, crafty, moody, all those things that you're walking away from. Maybe it's even for some of you that it is you're walking away from, from a person. You know, maybe you realize that you've got to walk away from somebody to get somebody new to have the kids with. Like, you know. It could be that even, um, because this person is not going to bring you your wishes fulfilled. Or you're just feeling, for the others, it's more you're feeling down. And that's, you know, that's why you think your wishes are not going to be fulfilled. Once again, if you're trying to manifest, that's not showing that you have faith. You need to break the cycle, because I feel like it is part of your destiny that you do have kids for some of you. So if that's how you're feeling... If this is something that you want so much, I feel like, you know, things are going to start happening. Things are going to start turning for you. And then you've got the star. Have faith. Dream coming true. The end of a difficult situation. Like the star is, you know, having hope and faith and manifesting what it is you want. Look. You feel like that there's so much uncertainty in this situation. Trust your intuition, you know, and I feel like you need to get rid of the fear and the worry and the, the negative thoughts and, you know, all of that. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, like, you know, this comes back to a divine counterpart. I feel like that that is possible and maybe the masculine is this divine counterpart for you have faith you know i just feel like that's important maybe it's this next person you're going to meet that's going to be the one that's going to give you kids then you've got gabrielle you've got five of wands in reverse and the six of wands in reverse it's more you telling yourself that you're not going to get something and um you know that you're not going to be successful and you know i just feel like you're telling yourself that once again though self-sabotage um i just feel like you're with somebody possibly who isn't your kindred spirit but for some of you it's like you don't trust And for some of you, you may have a breakup 
and then you know somebody wants to reconcile for some of you the people that are walking away from someone for the others it's more that you don't trust that you are going to get what you want because you've had loss because you're you're feeling defeated you're feeling like you haven't got what it is you want But they got the six of wands, like success, victory. Get rid of whatever isn't serving you. Anyway, that is what I have. Like, I feel like you have... Uh... Let's get an outcome card. I mean, I feel like you've got an outcome card, which is what are you manifesting? And, you know, have faith. It's telling you you are going to have kids. But anyway, let's get an outcome. An outcome for Leo. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Happy family. Contentment. Total love and support, happiness, divine love. You know, you and this person share the same dream. You know, this is this is like the happy family card. So, I feel like you've got your answer. Have the faith. Stop the negative thinking. Stop the negative thoughts. Stop self-sabotaging. Um, as I said, for some of you, you may meet somebody new. This may not be with the person you are currently with. It's going to be different for different people. Um, so take what resonates with you. But, um, yeah, that's... Oh, my whole body is goose bumping. Like, I wish you could see all my hairs standing on end. Um, yeah, that's what I have. Um, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And if, um, as I said, maybe you've got Scorpio in your chart somewhere. For some of you, if it is about, if this does, I guess, resonate. Anyway, um, and I will catch you with the next read. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Okay, bye.